Isn't protecting the innocent the very definition of what it means to be a Jedi? We are failing the Republic and its citizens. We must stop this. Now. Mace Windu. To the Jedi High Council upon witnessing a devastating separatist attack on Marini, as well as the killing of many Maran refugees, Mace Windu urged the Jedi Council to consider his proposal to assassinate Count Dooku. At first, Obi-Wan Kenobi and Yoda opposed this course action, believing that such measures could draw them closer to the dark side, but Windu countered their argument by reminding them of Dooku's significance to the separatist war effort. He also warned that unless the Jedi learn to adapt, the war and its devastating effect on the galaxy could continue indefinitely. Anakin Skywalker, who had been invited by Kenobi to attend the Council's meeting, agreed with Windu. Windu and Skywalker also pointed to the Clone Wars' growing number of civilian casualties, noting that many more lives would be lost as long as the conflict continued. Having considered Windu's words, including his stance on the Jedi Order's responsibility to protect the innocent, the Republic and its citizens, the Council agreed to sanction the plan. At Kenobi's suggestion, they assigned the mission to Jedi Master Quinlan Voss, due to his experience with covert operations. Voss, in turn recruited Dooku's former apprentice, Asajj Ventress. However, after becoming lovers Ventress convinced Voss to train in the ways of the dark side in order to defeat Dooku. The mission ended in failure, as Dooku was able to defeat both four sensitive assassins, resulting in Voss capture on Raxus Secundus. When Ventress reported directly to the Jedi Council, Windu greeted her with an arrest warrant, but was persuaded by Kenobi and Yoda to hear her account of the mission. He was particularly displeased to learn that Ventress exposed Voss to the dark side, but the former separatist retorted by reminding Windu that he and the Council had assigned Voss the mission in the first place. When the Council decided to rescue Voss, Windu became exasperated by the decision to send Ventress on the mission, but reluctantly agreed to follow Yoda's plan. Although the rescue mission was a success, Windu and the Council soon grew suspicious of Voss' allegiance. After definitively concluding that Voss had secretly joined Dooku, and having considered the repercussions that could result from the fall of a Jedi Master of Voss stature, Windu proposed that the Council consider the possibility of executing him as punishment for treason. Most of the Council was supportive of this idea, given the Order's history with other Jedi who turned to the dark side such as Barriss Offee, Ponkrell and especially Dooku but Kenobi persuaded them to give Voss the chance to reaffirm his commitment to the Jedi and the Republic by making another attempt on the Count's life. In the event that Voss failed to assassinate Dooku, Kenobi and Skywalker were under orders from Windu to execute Voss. Following the Second Battle of Christophsis, the Council once again met to discuss the fate of Quinlan Voss, who renounced the dark side after Ventress died while defending him from Dooku. At the same time, Windu spoke well of Ventress, commending her decision to sacrifice her life for another. Kenobi, however, felt that he and the Council did not understand the true depths of her sacrifice. Despite the disagreement on the use of assassination, as well as the circumstances surrounding Voss' temporary turn to the dark side, the Council agreed to give him the chance to regain their trust by atoning for his actions.